Hey! Hanging out in the studio with Superman. And um, we are going to see what we can't make as far as um, a different style of fairy house with our little pressed flowers. You and me, babe. You and me, babe. You're just nothing else like you. We're ready to go. So I um, these are smaller than my regular ones. They're extruded, just like the other ones are. Um, but that's kind of the same, same kind of deal that I did the other day, only with the square. So we'll see how these work out. Thanks for coming. Sometimes, like, randomly on date night, we'll, we'll go into, like, the Dollar Tree or whatever or the Dollar Store or the, you know, whatever. The place where you get plastic things. And, you know, we'll get things like scoops for equipment and for, for glazing. And we'll get stuff like <clears throat> a new extruder. This thing is hilarious. <laughs> so, if you have really soft clay, you can put this much clay, this is probably half an ounce of clay. Oh, and it's probably too much. But you can put this much clay into the Play Doh, dude. <laughs> and, and check it out. <laughs> These are hilarious and um and they're so great. They're just the right size to um you know stick up if you want this to like pop out or something like that, you gotta support it and just sticks up there and supports all your edges. Anything you gotta coil the inside of, like if you're making a, if you're making a um, hand built pot, like uh, a hand built mug or something, and you've gotta have coils on the inside of it. Oh my gosh! The other great thing about them is because they're extruded, they um, have no direction. 
so they haven't been twisted into one direction or the other so um, the particles are not aligned in any specific way so I can make these swirly doos and stick them on they're just they're like the perfect coils ever it comes with these other little things and I thought you know that might be fun to you know experiment with but <laughs> I'm telling you these little coils right here are worth the price of admission <laughs> because it's hilarious <laughs> and they work so well so let me show you what I've been doing with these little coils my mother would tell me that's way too many swirly doos <laughs> But you have to go too far before you know how far is far enough. <laughs> but check it out. These are those little prints that I did the other day. And oh my gosh, I just love it. Now I dropped this one while ago and his door needs to be repaired. But uh, that's that one. And then we have this little guy here and he... I, I'm not gonna lie, he was kind of hard to handle because the the center of the flower right there, Herbert's telling you where that is, the center of the flower flattened out while I was trying to get some shape into it. Um, but anything, like coiling this right here, ha 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 ha, <laughs> fantastic. Um, so, oh my gosh, super cute. And now that all the leaves have fallen off of all of the trees, Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I have not decided if these are gonna get windows or not, because honestly, right now, the whole idea was to make smaller fairy houses that didn't take as much time. Yeah, smaller does not necessarily mean less time. Sometimes it just means smaller and the same amount of time. So, um, but the, these are too small to go on the regular size fairy houses. So, I mean, it's what it is, but sunflower, love him. Well, see, I, this is the second one, mom. I, I, I toned it down. I toned it down. And now we have this little guy here. He's still going to get some more coiling. I, like that one, I, I, you have to put the, the swirly dues on last, I'm learning. Otherwise, you end up sticking your finger in them while you're gluing everything else on. But, oh my gosh, this one only has one flower. So that's the flower I put on there. And then this side is leaves. Oh, he's so sweet. He's so sweet! I love him. I love you, little fairy house. I'm a fairy maniac, apparently. So what you got, babe? What you think? They're amazing. Hey, First of all, let me just amazing. He thinks my stuff is amazing. I think his stuff is amazing. So I, my idea is to throw uh, four tall mugs, four smaller mugs, um, and then eventually four bowls, small bowls, four larger bowls, four plates, small plates, four larger plates. Just then, basically a whole set of dishes for us. So that's what I want to do for right now. It so. looks fantastic. So what are you seeing? 
What'd you learn? I'm getting better at throwing to the same type of thing, but um, but I'm not very experienced with bowls. So my two bowls here are shaped just a little bit different. I like this one a whole lot. This one got a little bit squatty. They're both basically, they're virtually the same size. Um, width and, and uh, height almost but you were saying I well, like the shape of this one yeah better. yeah and you were saying to me well ago you were saying while you were on the while you were on the wheel you were like you were measuring it and they were measuring the same but you just couldn't figure it out well it, it's the shape of the base yeah this is yeah These, and when you're over the top of something you can't see as you're throwing you can't the see biggest the difference between these two is the base of this one is narrower than this one at least i think it is but it comes up more gradual too mm, yeah this one comes up and then goes straight up this one stays curved i like this a lot you're shaking it around you just took it off the wheel you're gonna <laughs> No, you gotta be careful about that, babe. That's fine. You can unround the rim if you shake it around too much. Um, but these went really well too, and you you cut one of them off. Which one did you cut off? I've cut them all off. No, I mean you had to cut on the rim, right? Because you got it. Oh, I have no idea which one that was. I think it was this one. What did I tell you? So I cut it three times down to get it the same height as these. So Superman. That was that was new. That was something new for me. I can't do that. I cannot do that. Superman. Um, I bet it was this one because this one's the thinnest one. It's the thinnest one. The thinnest wall. They got up tall, tall, too tall. So, what did I learn? I learned that these little guys take just as much work as the larger ones with the leaf tops do i mean my my idea in getting these was that you know because they were stamped they wouldn't take as long and i would be able to have you know kind of a different price point but that's just not going to be the case the little ones are going to cost just as much as the big ones. <laughs> but they're adorable. They're almost, they're just almost cuter than the ones with the leaf on them. But I think that is just because they're new. <laughs> oh, everybody should do something that makes them this happy. Good fairy house. Everybody needs magic. So I've been so my my goal right now is to throw four of each thing. Ooh, hey. yeah. <laughs> he throws with his chin. Four. It's fantastic. I, I do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, so I...